rights that they said, you know, and we all have it. But in a civilized society, the struggle is, is keeping that in. Hello. Welcome to the Hard Reset. What just happened? Say and how you say it now. Yeah. Um, for that reason. Well, I, um, I, I view that as being censorship. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, which I don't, I don't actually, you know, I don't believe in censorship. Yeah. I believe in if somebody has something to say, I want to hear what they have to say. Yeah, maybe, maybe my thought process or what I'm thinking, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's something that I'm not quite getting. So I'd really, I'd really like to hear that it's rather than just everybody running around saying, well, I, I don't agree with what you're saying. So I'm just going to burn you to the ground and deplatform you or you can't say what you're thinking. It's like, no, I want to hear what well, they're the thinking thing, though, and why. Is, is it's because, just, because that's the social norm now. Yeah. You have people that are getting more into that psychotic point where they're, they have a, they really think about something else. And unless mm-hmm. you catch them slipping, if you will, right. That is the only image that you're ever going to see of them. Um, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. You know, and it's celebrities and everything included. Um, you know, you're always going to hear the best of things about, you know, certain celebrities. And then every once in a while, somebody that worked on the set of their movie will be like, that person was a freaking total nightmare. Right. Because they slipped up one day and like, you know, started using, you know, racial slurs yeah, or whatever. And, you know, then it goes into damage control and, you know, it's all about reputation. Um, Mm -hmm. So it's, I don't think it's necessarily, it's, it's not necessarily good for us. You know, um, I believe people obviously should be held accountable for what they're saying. Well, yeah, they should but, be held accountable but at the same time, but bad people, they should be, have the time to be explain bad people. Or, so now all, all they're doing now is just burying it deeper. Right. And I don't think that's good for our mental health. Right. No, no, it's not. Um, it's not good for our mental health. And, you know, unfortunately, the I, people I that, most the people are yelling health, freedom of speech. <laughs> most of the people are yelling freedom of speech are yeah they're trying to silence somebody though yeah I mean, they're, unfortunately they're, yeah but. and the thing of it is is i mean we're in a time now too where unfortunately no matter what you say it can be misconstrued as no it can be and what, that's that's know. just i mean that's our side of it too is no matter what i say let's just sim- simply say if i was trying to be neutral or um take everybody's feelings into uh, um i'm not even sure what that word would even be if I was trying to consider everybody's, be mm-hmm. considerate. Yeah. Fifty uh, percent of what I say would be okay. Fifty percent of what I say would not be okay. And it's yeah. kind of, I mean, people do have the option to tune me out, tune you out, tune us out, tune whoever they want out. It's well, like, but you I mean, know, at the same time, I don't think you should shut down speech because of it. Well, I mean, again, I I use the Joe Rogan. I know we keep talking about it. Using it as an example is. No matter, nobody understand, nobody, nobody understands context anymore. Well, no, because I mean, it's just, it gets butchered. It you gets can have the best intentions and, when you say something. Yeah. And if people want to cancel you per se, they're going to spew a angle. Right. Of what you said with no emphasis on inflection or what happened previously in that conversation or even after that snippet was said mm-hmm. and a prime example again, I mean, I know I keep saying Joe Rogan, but prime example is, is he is like probably the most neutral guy that you're going to get out there. But because he is that way, you're always going to get, it's a threat now to, in this case, like mainstream media is a threat. Right. And let's be honest with you. They've got a lot of money to be able to edit. They've got a lot of equipment to edit everything and they can literally hire like four or five people interns or whatever. Oh yeah. And they can scour the internet for anything and everything that, you know, Joe Rogan has ever said for the past, you know, since the invention of the internet Mm -hmm. and they can take those snippets, which is what you saw like with his deal, where it was basically they took stuff from like 15 years ago and, you know, stand up comedy and like certain things like that and no context to it. It was just a B roll of Joe Rogan saying terrible stuff. Right. Yeah. So, you know, that that's the flip side of that. Like getting back to like talking about that shadow thing is, is, um, super hypocritical. I think people are super hypocritical because I mean, 
you know, in my day and age, the funniest people out there was like Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor. Oh yeah. You know, all these, Mm -hmm. you know, they, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have made it. Like you would literally, you would lose what I consider like the national treasures (laughs) of medians. Yeah. Because they would not make it out of, you know, Skokie, Illinois, you know, local dive comedy club Mm -hmm. because they would not even give them airtime for some of the stuff that they said. Right. And we, we just never hear them. So I feel like you're, you know, you're stifling, you know, I mean, comedy is a, you know, a thing itself is the whole point is it's, it's meant to be being able to laugh at yourself. Right. Right. And then, you know, the sour puss will be like, well, that's not comedy. What? Because it's not talking about the evening news. It's not comedy to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. the, it, it, that has no con, you know, it, it has nothing to do. The whole point of comedy is basically comedy, movies, certain things like that. I feel like the whole point is it's, it's a release from your normal day. Yeah. Or actually not even so much your normal day per se, but it could just simply be this uh, comedian is he's saying what everybody's thinking. Oh, but yeah. he's willing to step out on a limb and yeah. just simply say, Hey, you know what? I told my wife, she looks old because of, yeah. And it's like, Oh no, you can't say that. But I mean, he said it oh, yeah. and then you get a little chuckle out of it because you know, in the back of your mind, it's like, well, he might be right. Or, Oh yeah. But well, I, you have Mr. Shadow guy though, that I talked about earlier, hiding behind the internet wall is being like, that's not funny. And I love my wife. And, you know, whatever it is, you know, whatever it is, right. You're right. always going to get that. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, that, that in itself, this, I feel, I feel like it stifles creativity. Right. No, I, I think and, it does. I mean, yeah. As soon as you start telling people that you, uh, cannot say something because man, and I don't think anybody, well, okay. There are people out there intentionally trying to offend people. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, when you have people that intentionally say, no, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just saying what I got to say. 